Four unidentified objects suddenly landed in the air and set off huge waves on the sea. The general dispatched immediately three warships to investigate. Unidentified objects visible to the naked eye are not shown on the radar. George is a Navy captain. After being punished, he took the initiative to rush to the front line. After getting close, he found that the unknown object was as huge as a mountain, and there were many strange runes on it. The moment he touched it, he was blasted away by a wave of energy, then two beam of light shot up, forming a huge spherical barrier. The barrier surrounded the three warships, and the communication with the outside world was blocked. The general could no longer sit still. He immediately sent a fighter plane to reconnaissance, and it exploded as soon as it got close to the screen. Something strange happened on George's side. As soon as he was rescued by his companions, the sea began to roll. The next moment, a huge Mecha warship rushed out of the water, the jet of air from the engine stirred up countless waves, and the Colossus stunned everyone, then came one after another, each of which was giant, at this moment, the warship sounded a warning whistle, and the other side responded to humans with ultrasonic waves, the glass on the warship was instantly shattered, the captain thought it was a provocation, so he ordered his men to shoot the shells to warn them again, which was annoying the alien warship and regarded the sea as land, threw multiple shells to fight back, although the military anti-aircraft artillery fired stopped a few of them, there was still one that was deeply embedded in the bridge, and the shell fell into the ground, the deck blew up George's warship, George led his team to rush over, and this kind of reckless behavior also broke away from his brother Jove, in order to cover his brother, Jove had to attack, but the enemy warship was not damaged by a single shot, and the enemy immediately shifted its target and threw more bombs at Jove's main ship. There are too many shells, and the anti-aircraft guns can't prevent them at all. Countless missiles fell from the sky like hail, blowing up the warship in an instant. When George returned to the team, both the captain and the deputy captain were killed, and George with the highest rank became the new captain. George was very unwilling and wanted to avenge for dead Jove, however, the friendly warship was also blown up to cover them, many crew members jumped into the sea, they had to turn back to save people first, the alien warship also put away its weapons and stopped attack, however, three steel hot wheels and a spaceship are released from the alien building, the spaceship flies away, and the hot wheels can automatically identify potential threats, the two wheels flew towards the air force base on the shore. Wherever the Hot Wheels passed, the fighter planes were destroyed, including the ones that were about to take off, the other Hot Wheels locked onto the traffic buildings in the urban area, and after a rampage, the whole city was paralyzed. George was pulled into a room, where they salvaged the body of an alien, it looks like a human being, took off his helmet and saw the real face of the alien, everyone was shocked, George took the flashlight and began to check, when the flashlight shone on the pupil, the alien suddenly woke up and grabbed George's head. At this moment, there was an explosion behind them, a group of aliens sneaked into the cabin, rescued their companions, and the alien spacecraft flew away, aliens quietly broke into the interior of the warship, trying to destroy the power room. They were all wrapped in armor, making them invulnerable, so George led the aliens onto the deck and used the main gun to kill them. After solving the aliens, the crew found that their helmets have a strong sunshade effect, which means that the aliens are afraid of the sun, knowing their weaknesses is not enough, the radar fails, and with the dark night, their destroyer becomes blind. At this time, the friendly forces propose to use the tsunami warning buoys to locate. As long as the water level changes significantly, the signal will be transmitted, soon they found the buoy with the most obvious changes, at this time, the enemy was close, George decided to attack first, four missiles were fired, and two groups of missiles attacked at the same time, with two loud noises, the alien warship was hit, and they won, however, he was not happy for a long time, George received a call, it turned out that just now, an alien spacecraft occupied the signal station on the island, trying to send signals to the universe through satellites, this may attract more alien invasions, so they must find a way to destroy the signal station. At t this moment, the last alien warship chased after it, they jump irregularly to prevent humans from tracking its whereabouts, took advantage of the weakness of the alien's fear of light, and first drove close to the island to meet the alien warship, go around in circles. And when the time is right, 
They turn around and fight. Just in the last 100 meters, the alien warship hit them at full speed, the sun rose slowly from the island, and the sun shone on the control room of the alien warship, and George, who had been ready for a long time, broke through the glass of the control room, and the sunlight shone in, blinding the aliens, then came the missile main gun and machine gun and the Arla Burke-class destroyer struck out with full firepower towards the alien warship, no matter how hard the steel is, under such intensive artillery fire, it will be blown to pieces, the destroyer slowly appeared at the end, they won the battle, the crew cheered, George was ready to destroy the signal station on the mountain, and cut off the alien invasion, but the alien spherical weapon flew straight at them, the crew could only fight one after another, jumping into the sea, even the last destroyer sank to the bottom of the sea, everyone was desperate, George turned to the antique class battleship on the port, the crew came to the battleship complained that the antique battleship could not be activated, at the critical moment, the retired veterans stepped forward, they entered the combat position, the shells were pushed in, the warship broke through the huge waves, and the Missouri, which had been sleeping for many years, was rediscovered, not far from them, the shaped battleship slowly rose from the seabed, the war is about to break out, at this time, George was no longer reckless, he turned all the turrets, secretly aimed at the side of the ship, and then drove to the enemy's flank with full left rudder, when the anchor touched the bottom, the Missouri made a sharp turn, while avoiding the shells, the angle of the turret was quickly corrected, the three main turrets were fully fired, and the shells blew up the alien mothership, with the destruction of the mothership, the barrier above the island also dissipated, the Missouri also had only one shell left, and they fired at the signal station, which was destroyed in a violent explosion, they finally wiped out the aliens and won, in the end, George was awarded the Medal of Heroes, and finally married the general's daughter, becoming a winner in life, now there is only one last question left. Why did the aliens come? It turns out that humans discovered an Earth-like planet seven years ago and sent a friendly signal. When the peace-loving aliens received the signal, they immediately sent a fleet of envoys to visit the Earth, but unexpectedly. They collided with the abandoned satellite and deviated from the course, crashed in Hong Kong, the alien ambassador died of the impact, and the translation system was also destroyed because they could not communicate. The remaining alien fleet had to open a giant barrier to avoid conflicts with the Earthlings, but unfortunately, they happened to meet the human military exercise, and the sound of the whistle caused friction between the two sides. The Earthlings fired first, and the aliens thought they were in an ambush, so they had to fight back. During the battle, the aliens conveyed the order that if the enemy does not move, they will not move, and if the enemy fires, they will fight back. In the face of the last escaped Earth warship, the alien commander not only stopped the attack, but also let them rescue all the soldiers who fell into the water, he hoped that the Earthlings would understand, but never expected that this not only failed to stop the stupid behavior of the Earthlings, but ushered in a devastating massacre. The aliens were shocked and they told their mother planet through a nearby signal tower that this was a planet full of violence, however, the moment the signal was sent out, it was blown up by a flying missile, all 72 alien envoys of peace were buried, fortunately, the aliens who were wiped out did not die, and a projectile that looked like an escape cabin fell somewhere on the earth, the nosy passerby pried open the hatch under the instigation of the child, and there was an alien inside which stretched out its claws, there will aliens revenge.